Why are you grabbing me? Why are you grabbing me? Have you paid? Have you paid? Have you paid? Have you paid? That's what do you mean have I paid? The police have paid. paid. Why are you grabbing my arm? Why are receipt, you grabbing sir? my arm? My stuff. Sir. Where's your receipt? Why are you grabbing my arm Where's and my stuff? I've got my receipt. Don't pull me back up from the stuff. Why are you pulling me in the middle of the pool? Show us your receipt. What do you mean show me your receipt? Why are you coming at me like this? You can't come at me like this. You can't no come at me and like expect me to show you my receipt. So you need to this show is not receipt. how you speak to people. I'm, I'm this is not how you speak to human sir, beings. Sir, I'm just Why are you grabbing me up in the middle sir. of blue water? Listen, you have your tantrum when you No, it's not about having my court. tantrum. It's have not about tantrum. tantrum. Yes, have tantrum Black people yeah. are going through this all the yeah, time. Yeah, you keep dragging. Yeah, face face but you. What do you mean my face mask? I put my face mask on the floor. Take my face mask is on the floor okay, because fine. of how you're approach grabbing me up. No, don't grab me up. Call your call your call your main security person. No. Don't grab sir, me up. No. I'm not going. Sir, I burnt my kneecaps sir. many years ago. I'm not begging. Sir. You man go call your superior. Sir, you we, do not we, grab we, me we, up. Have you paid? Call your, of course I told him and I paid. I told him and he came. I paid. So, management said you didn't pay. I don't care what management said. Sir, I don't care if management said I didn't pay. Okay, I told you man already I paid. Let's no. Let's let go of my arm. Let's sir. Let sir. go of my arm. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Let, let me calm down. go we of to, my arm. Sir, move from my arm. Sir, yo, yo, Sandra, move take, from my arm. Leave his arm. Let's talk like man to man. No, no man. move from my arm and my products. No, 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 I no, no. Own listen, listen. Products. Get off the products. Have you paid? I've paid. I've said that five times now. Where's your receipt? I don't. You firstly back up. That's what you're gonna firstly do. Back get, up. Shit, my receipt is my receipt. I could have thrown it in the bin after. It doesn't matter. Back up. This is my product. Confirmed, this brother. is my product. Back up. Sir. You don't hold my arm and grab me. I'm the wrong one. I'm the wrong one. You did that to today. Sir, you did yeah. I'm the wrong one. Did I did pay. Manage Can you move you. back? Give me my space. You're supposed to be socially distanced. How are you no, grabbing my arm and grabbing my have. products? How are you grabbing my arm and grabbing my products? Hundred and something pounds. How are you grabbing me over a hundred and something pounds? How are you grabbing me? You grabbed me and my products. Yes, that's right. Now you need to back up because it's, it's COVID. It's COVID nineteen, and I need my space. Back up because he grabbed me. My mask is on the floor. What do you mean? How smart are you? I've not got my mask on because he grabbed me. What do you mean? What do you mean? Shut up, mate. Back up. Definitely not paid for them. Back yeah. up. Please, can you give me my space? Can you give me my? Yeah. Get off my products. This is my product. These are my products. Calm down. Okay, move. Look at my mask on the floor. Look at. What do you mean? Calm down. He ran up to me. He ran up to me and grabbed me. My mask is on the floor. What do you mean? There's my mask. He's been on the floor. Because he said I don't have a mask on. What do you mean? Why am I asking for it? Your colleague is being smug and smart. This is not the time for that conversation. You've handled me wrongly. I've paid. Say it to the camera to me. I've paid. Did I pay? Did I pay? Tell everybody. Tell everybody that you just tried to embarrass me in front of them. Tell everybody. No. Yo, listen. No, because you do this. You do this to black people all the time. You do this to black people all the time. Look at you, man. Tell everybody. Tell everybody I paid. Tell everybody I paid. It's me, Sifos Williams. I'm in blue water, and these man tried to take me over 107 pounds. Now come back. Come back. Come tell everybody. Where are you? Hey, tell them. Tell them I paid. Okay. Tell them I paid. Okay. Tell them I paid. See what they do all the time. All the time. All the time. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I don't care what you know. What? I don't care what you know. Why are you grabbing me? No, I'm going to complain now. Now I'm going to complain. You harassed me. I want to speak to your manager right now. I am the manager. Oh. I'm you're the you're manager. store manager? I'm the security manager. What I want the store manager now. I want the store manager now. Have you got the receipt? You grabbed me up. Have you got the receipt? They just told you I paid. Why are you coming up to me like that for? Why are you coming up to me like that? How do you expect to get me your general manager? I want Listen, I want the general manager of Blue Water right now. Of course I got the receipt. I told him that initially when he came up to me. I told him. No one see my receipt anymore. They just confirmed I paid. They just confirmed I paid. You are not seeing my receipt. Don't yeah, grab me, don't yeah, grab yeah, me yeah. and don't grab my phone. Yeah. Don't yeah. grab me and don't grab my phone. Yeah. Yeah. What I want, what I need is the general manager of Blue Water now. Now. I'm, I'm I need the general manager of Blue Water. I need his name. I need that other white guy's name. I need this Asian brother who just tried to grab me. 
Any this agent brother's name? Wait, wait. I need your name because wait. you're smug. Wait, 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 I know you're trying to calm the situation down. No, no, no. George Floyd died last year because of this rubbish. George Floyd died last year because of this rubbish. So don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. Don't do it right now because my people have been suffering for years. Don't do that right now. My wife is over there doing her shopping. Don't do that right now. I'm going to Manchester. Let me express because I am disgruntled and I'm allowed to be because he ran up to me and grabbed me. He ran up to me and grabbed me. But so what? I, I don't care what. No, people, people are racist no, people and people have bias that are conscious. Don't do that. I'm not talking to you. What I want to talk to. Who I want to. Don't talk do about mistakes. Do don't talk about mistakes. If I was an old white man or an old white lady, he would have never run up to me and grabbed me like that. So hold on. Hold on. I don't care. Hold on. It's coming. Listen, I don't want the duty manager. You know, I didn't say that. He Local, came up. Duty manager no, I didn't. Coming. I said I want the general manager. I want the person that runs this place. Yeah. I want they're, the they're, not they're the coming. duty manager. I want the person they were put into. They're this they're is coming. ridiculous. I'm fed up. They're I want the general manager they're of coming. Blue Water. Look at my stuff. Look at my mask all over the place. 21st century. 21st century, and a black man can't buy. Look at this cheap luggage. A hundred and something pounds. A hundred and something pounds. We're only buying it for a week. It's not like I'll come out the shop with Gucci. Tell everybody that walked past that I didn't steal. Everybody that saw him apprehend me and grab me, put it everywhere. They made a mistake. They didn't make a mistake. They were racist. Okay. They didn't make a mistake. This guy didn't make a mistake. He grabbed me. This guy tried to grab my phone and grab me. That's why there's a difference between. This is why there's a difference between Bane and Black. This is why there's a difference between Bane and Black. Are you the general manager of Blue Water? I'm a duty manager of Blue Water. I want to speak to you. won't be speaking to the general manager. So you can speak to me or no one, it's up to you. I want to speak to the general manager. And he's not happening. He's the what? It's not happening. You speak to me. So I'm is the general manager in or not in? He's, you're not speaking to the general manager. You can speak to me, I'm duty manager. Cool, I'd like to speak to the general manager That's as well. happening tonight. Okay, so could you explain to me mm. your line of management to the person that runs Blue Water, please? Of course, yes. So who are you, please? I'm duty manager. And your name? Chris. Chris, and who do you report into, Chris? My line manager. Who's your line manager? Operations. Head of operations. Mm -hmm. And who is that? The blue user? Ryan. Ryan? Yeah. And who does Ryan report into? Uh, the client. And the what, client. What does this matter? Because what's, for me, what's happened today? I'll talk to you about what happened today. Yeah. But I need to feel comfortable with who I'm speaking to, so, the integrity of who I'm speaking so listen, to, and the position within listen, the chain. Listen, of, listen for a minute. Let, let me speak because this is what always happens. Mm. Somebody has apprehended me and ruined my whole day. Right. So you don't get to come to me with energy. Nobody gets to come me because I was done wrong. Oh, yeah. So you may need to pacify me yeah. and do what I need to calm them because okay. I was treated wrongly. So, so let me you let guys, me finish speaking to you. Because you asked me a question. You asked me a question. You said you yeah, asked me a question. Yeah. Why am I asking you for all that information? Yeah. The first thing is you guys have not treated me correctly. That's the first thing. Right. So I need to establish who I'm speaking to yeah. and the establishment for which you work. Yeah. yeah? So you report into Ryan. Yeah. Ryan reports into yeah, it the client. Matter. It doesn't matter. It matters to me. Well, it matters to me. Is, but it matters to me. Right. So, so why, that, does Ryan report into the CEO of Blue Water? That doesn't matter. It does so, matter to I'm me because I will, I will directly speak to the CEO I'm, you of won't, Blue. Unless I will. You write in. If you write in, I'm right. telling you right now. Write in, I reply, maybe, I'm yeah. telling you right now. I am going to speak to the CEO how of this you, of this place. So gonna, I want to know. How are you going to do that? How am I going to do that? Mm. Because of my network. Okay. I don't need to explain to you why I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to do it because of my network. Okay. But even ask me how or why is insulting to me. Right. You don't need to ask me why. I'm asking you questions. Okay. I don't care if you feel attacked by my so questions. Where, so where are we going? I'm right? going to tell you what happened. Okay. But I don't care if you feel attacked by my questions. Attacked, yeah, but you, you come across that way because I'm asking you and you're not answering. You're being defensive. Right, okay. So I would like to know mm -hmm. your line I, of I, management. I, like we've done that. We've not because yeah. you've not told me who Ryan reports into. It doesn't matter. It matters it to matter. me. So Chris, could you please tell me who yes. does Ryan report into? I've already into? said he reports into clients. Cool. So he doesn't report. So he doesn't report into your CEO. Cool. So who's your CEO, please? It doesn't matter. It matters right? to me. Okay. I can well, Google it and find out. I'm asking. Google it and find out. So you don't want to tell me who your CEO is? You Google it and find out. That's fine. So can I ask you a question? Mm. Why have you come? Because I was asked to attend by security. So you have no context? No, not really, no. So how can I help? And all, and all the people that you've just seen, all gathered, that you could have also kept around to ask for context, you've dispersed them and dismissed them. 
for the moment, yeah. So do you want yeah. to ask someone for context? You can, you can ask, one of them, ask one of them for context. If you I'm don't gonna, want to tell I'm going to tell fine. you. But listen, yeah. I've got my wife yeah. and we're travelling today. Yeah. So I'm going to call my wife first. So you go ask okay, them. Give me, give me, give me yeah. two minutes. Two minutes, no worries. We'll come back. So if I could get the names of the security guy, the security guy that grabbed me, and also the main security guy, Asian guy, the glasses that tried to grab me as well. Okay. I need to go back out for my wife say, and for duty manager. Say, so That's cool. Yeah. I just, I'm just now no, 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 not on it. If I could get their names, so I, I don't know who is who. Thank you. Now I'm gonna wait here. My wife needs to come, and the general manager needs to come. Wife shopping in the centre. She is. Um, Can I ask the security where is Odorius? Sorry, what were you about to say? No, sorry, all I was going to say is I'm not, I'm, we, won't, we won't give out any names. Okay, no Abs problem. Absolutely. What I can do is I can give you, I'll give you an email and then if you contact us and we can forward it on to... Wicked. I'm going to I'm gonna go senior. straight to the CEO anyway, but if, if I could get that contact information, that would also absolutely. be helpful. Absolutely. No, so what we'll do is I'll give you an email and then obviously you can put down obviously all your information there i don't feel then, comfortable right now giving my information if no, i just get an email I what i wanted which i didn't get was the name for everybody that yeah. physically touched me and upended me this right. is not norm appreciate your help this is one of the ladies one of the ladies that served me today when they ran up to me and said you didn't pay for this grab my bag and grab my stuff cool so again this happens to black people every day every day now the work I do in this country, not just for black people, but for enterprise, is a lot. So I'm telling you straight, fact, fact now, I'm going directly to your CEO and I need to see changes. I need to see, so, I, don't, I don't need an apology. Apology is cool. I don't need to see any, I need changes. Because if I was one of those other young black people that's not necessarily navigated the journey the way I have, that could have turned into me going to prison today or me doing something or giving me a criminal record. Or... Or, here is the real penny drop, George Floyd, yeah? And this is not over-exasperating the situation. George Floyd was killed because somebody called the police for a $20 bill, yeah? Other people have been killed in the UK and in America, black people, because somebody weaponized their whiteness or their Asianness or their privilege against black people. Now, everybody walking past that saw them grabbing me and saw them grab my stuff, nobody said nothing. Everybody would have seen the situation and thought, do you know what, another black guy stole something. If I'd responded like a normal human being and just got upset and retaliated physically, I could be on the floor, someone on my neck, which has happened to me in my lifetime, like the O2 arena, yeah? This is what needs to stop happening because I can't even be human. I can't even be upset anymore. I don't need you to respond. And I know you've got a, a job. I'm talking now to, to Chris. So, I, I need to get this off my chest. I need to get I this off my chest understand. because I've been physically harassed today, okay? They grabbed me, they held me, and they were shaking me. My mask fell off. A security guard came and said to me, well, where's your, where's your bloody mask, he said. And I said, well, that man just grabbed me and it fell on the floor. They picked up, well, put it back on. Are you really going to tell me now that you've roughed me up, my mask has fell off, to pick it back up and put it on my face? If I respond as a normal human being and I get irritated or I get angry or I get physical back, yeah. I go to jail. I die. That's my reality. I don't need condolence right now. No, no, I really don't. Honestly. I need to speak to the CEO and I need to know that this thing is going to stop happening to black people, period. In you. fact, I'm going right, to take it to the CEO of House of Fraser as well. Okay, so All I wanted was the names, but we can't get the names. So I'll get I won't the... do that just because of data protection. That's cool. Do that. That's Absolutely. cool. We're I'll get, aware of it. I'll get All the right. information. Appreciate All that. Right. Give me two seconds. Nice one. For me... Huh? You're, you're for a bit. 100%. For me, this is not about... And even the way you approach me, yeah? It needs to change. And I'm telling you that straight, yeah? Because I'm disgruntled. I'm allowed to be. I don't know if they've taken you through what they call unconscious bias training yet, but it's not unconscious. Everybody's got a conscious bias. What they need to start talking about is conscious inclusion. So when you come to a situation and you see a black man is frustrated, or a black person, I'm not talking about anyone else, a black person, just come at it differently, bro. Just come at it and say, yo, like, I, I, I get it, let's talk. Because sometimes that approach, just saying let's talk, and not being defensive as you were initially, can diffuse a lot for me. 
All I'm looking for is people that get it. I'm saying I want to speak to the general manager because I understand I can speak if I wanted to to the general manager. And that's okay that you don't want to let me speak to the general manager, but even the way you communicate it's it, not, bro. It's not I, don't want I get it. You they're, don't understand they're, the they're situation really, really yet. Busy. I get it, but I'm really busy. I, and I get it. I get I get that they were I get it. To do that. To I, deal with things I manage to, I manage yeah. people. So I get it sure. completely. But all I'm saying is that's my desire. So the response to that desire wants to come across a bit more friendly, bro. It wants to come across a bit more okay. understanding. Yeah. You don't know who I am. You don't know if I know the investors of Blue Water or who, who's in my network. So again, like for me, it's like, just come at it differently, bro. Like come at it like, yo, I get that. We can get a person for you that's needed, but for right now, let me talk to you. This is my wife. I just didn't feel that. Especially because them guys damn near rugby tackled me to the floor, bro. George Floyd, Literally, the guy came to me. I didn't. I didn't. I stood firm. What do you mean? I stood firm. I stood, if I if I wasn't I, as a black man, I'm prepared every day to be for someone to try me. Every day for someone to try me. So I'm walking. I'm walking my luggage. Calm, calm, calm. Dude comes from behind. Literally grabs my bag, grabs me. Yo, where are you going? Where are you going? So I'm going to hold on the I will pay you the recording after this. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't get when they grabbed me. Yeah. That's CCTV. Yeah. He ran. When you watch your CCTV, but what he ran up to me? I was in here. I was there. How does someone? How does someone run up to? Fam, this is like hundred and fifty pounds. If I wanted to buy, if I, if I was buying Gucci or Louis or something that's like thousands of pounds, bro, which I could buy, right? If I was buying that, maybe. Maybe, blood, this is like 200 bags, two bags, two pills, sorry, 100, 100 like, it's not expensive stuff, you, you can walk up to me like a normal human being, hey man, you need to check, they've said X, Y, Z, S, but you've walked up to me, you've run up to me with the assumption that I'm a black, not you, but he's run up to me with the assumption that he's a black man, let's get him today, let's get him, so if, you, if I'm a normal human in your eyes, just come up to me, Hey man, they said that you not paid for this. But I'm just like, yeah, you, yeah, do you mind? Totally, do you mind totally doing it? Now I don't need to show you my receipt. No. Facts by law, I don't need to show you my, anybody my receipt. I could have taken my receipt and binned it. They could have asked me, do you want to keep your receipt? Yeah. And I could have said no. no yeah. So what are you asking me for the receipt for? Yeah. Because in my normal capacity as a human being, I may not be carrying a receipt. And now it's all digital. It's all digital. I could have got it to my anything. But you man wanted a problem today, and so they literally ran up to me, grabbed me up, come up. I said to them for over five minutes, get off my arm. If I had responded, not as just a black person, but as a normal human being, being attacked, I could have ended up with someone's knee on my neck, screaming for my mum. And it's because other people that are not black, including the Asian guys that apprehended me today, including the white guys that apprehended me today, they don't understand this. And so they come with the passer. The white lady security guard, all well-meaning, was saying stuff like, oh, it was just a misunderstanding. It's not a misunderstanding when it's every day of your life. When it's every day, so I don't need you, you, or the next person to come and try to defuse it. I don't need that. I need you to come with love and say, yo, we don't understand, but we're here. We get that you're frustrated, we're here. Talk to us. That's what, and I'm telling you, I'm teaching you. I'm teaching you now so that you can train your staff, the next black people, whether it's a group of young black people or older, whoever it is. Because if it was, a, if it was a, me and my boys, are you mad? If it was me and my boys, that would not have gone down like that. The, and especially because of who I am within the public realm. If you had people that recognise me walking past, seeing me getting grabbed up like that, that would have been a different story. And that's the issue. Because then we're going to leave with the handcuffs. We're going to leave dead. We're going to leave with our day's room. The head security guard came out and grabbed my phone up. On recording. Talk to me, talk to me. Grab my phone. So we we'll wonder why I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the general manager. Because I don't trust it. I don't trust you coming. I want to speak to the, to the guy who speaks to the shareholders. Because everybody is telling me that they're the one. The security guard came. I told you, I've not said it to you yet. They grabbed me up. My mask come off. How do you physically grab someone to their mask fall off? Other security guard comes there. Yeah. I said it, I said it was supposed to be socially distanced. I said it's COVID. You man at least like give me the distance. It's COVID. People are dying. People are dying. Then he comes, yeah, but you're not even wearing your mask, are you? 
because you man roughed me up and it's on the floor. Yeah. Then the lady picks it up and says, yo, here's your mask. Now it's been on the floor. It's, everyone's been stepping all over it. Now I'm going to wear my mask. Come on now. So I, what I don't need, I don't need you to wait to respond. I need you to listen. I, I don't need you to wait to respond. I just need, and I know you've got a job to do. So, I said already, I'm going to talk, I'm going to contact the CEO of our company. So, I can take this, but my wife will tell you the type of wife and diary I have, I've not got the capacity to do this. Cool. Have you that has My main concern is because you said you were in a hurry, and that's why I'm trying to get it done quickly. It's cool. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. And again, I'll speak to Chris. Chris will scale it to every, all the stores in the, in, in, in the blue world because I've not got the capacity to be talking to multiple people and trying to justify my experience as a black man. And again, the learning for you, Chris, is that on your initial approach, just come at it differently, bro. Because I'm allowed to be pissed off. You men are, you men are here to serve me and to serve the general public. So if, I, if I'm disgruntled, even if that's because someone bumped into me or because someone stepped in my shoe, your immediate thing should be, yo, like, how can I help? Yo, let's sit down. You want to sit down? Okay, let's stand up. How can I help? Not to come at me and be defensive as you initially work, and I appreciate you taking it on board. But it needs to stop, because I am a very patient and articulate human being. There are other people out there that are not as patient and not as articulate, that are able to respond as they want to respond, but will end up dead, in jail, or completely in ruins. I would have been on the floor. And then what made matters worse, oh, he's not paid, he's not paid. Oh, he's paid, has he? Oh, he's paid, he's paid, leave him, he's paid. After 10 minutes of everyone in blue water, I said, come back. I said, tell everybody that I paid. Because the message you send is not just a message for me, as much as I am seen as a public figure. It's not just for me. It's for every other black person that stands within me. Every other black person, what like, it's black people that make more than the whole of the blue water put together. You don't know who I am. To be grabbing me on 100, 200 pounds. You could apprehend me at the door. You could be strategic about it. Hey, you know, we, we've seen, you grab, you run up to, what are you, what are you thinking? Those guys need to lose their job and a whole new thing needs to be, because it's not the first time I've experienced racism in blue water. It's not the first time. In fact, you might remember letter to Zion on your billboards with a black man holding his son. I need to remember those images of a black man on your billboards holding his son, letter to Zion. That's me. Okay, so I've, my presence has been in this centre and I've come back incognito and I've been treated wrongly in various stores, various. Some of which I'm speaking to their global CEO, some of which I've picked up on a first name text basis. And I say that to say, even with my network and my ability to create change, I'm still a victim of racism, not unconscious racism, not unconscious bias, not a mistake as some people say today, racism. Because if I was a white lady walking off with my luggage, you would never, never. But because black men in the media are portrayed to always be the toughest man in the room, always be the hardest. So you come to me with that energy. You come to me with that energy and it needs to change, bro, because I'm, I'm a human being. I'm allowed to swear, I'm allowed to get angry because you might make me angry. It doesn't mean I'm angry at you. It doesn't mean I'm angry at you. It means that I've been disgruntled. That's what I need. What I need, not just for me, but for everybody, every black person that stands within me, all the ancestors that were killed, George Floyd, everybody. What I need is for us to be treated like human beings, bro. That's all I need. And to do that, I need to speak to the CEO. I need to speak to whoever the person is that runs this place. We're about to do a whole exhibition in the Arndale Centre, which I'm sure you're aware of, yeah? We're about to do a whole thing for the Arndale Centre, never done before. I need to speak to your leadership. We're looking to take it to Westfield. I need to, fun, this is not a house of Fraser duty manager, no offence to the position you play within the system, and it's needed, but I need to speak to that white man who sits at the top of the table, who's in a position to really activate and cascade that change. Because you can't cascade the change. You can come and you can hear it, and you can report it back to me, oh, cool, cool, cool. I don't need him to be busy. I need him to be as active as he would have been straight after June Floyd was murdered. Straight after George Floyd is murdered, every white CEO was saying, oh, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. I need that energy now. I don't need that energy every time a black man dies. I need it when I get apprehended. I need the CEO to show me. I'm here. I'm the CEO. Yeah. I'm the CEO. Okay. What happened? Okay, okay, okay.
What happened? That's what I need. And I need it to change now. I don't need an apology. Apologies are cool. I don't need I don't need all these other things. I need to see the change, bro. I just gave birth to my son. You see letter to Zion, go read it. Letter to Zion.co.uk, go read the letter. I need it to change, not just for me, but for every black person that stands within me. You understand? But my, my point when we first met was, if you tell me your point, I can't because I can, I've, I've just been harassed. I can then try and figure out. Look, look if, you're walk, if you're doing your normal thing and a bunch of black brothers just run up to you and roughed you up, and are oh, you white, this, this, is that. And then some, some way, could you tell me what's happened? You're not going to be able to gather yourself, bro. Right? That's normal. That's, That's normal. No, I know that. So I can't tell you what happened. That's what I said to you. Could you go, have you asked anyone else? You said no. So I said, cool. Maybe for two minutes, go ask another security person that you dismissed. Yeah. Go ask them. Yeah. Because that will help me. What you could have said as always, well would you like me to speak to you first? Or would you like me to speak to the people that are standing by? Because you're the priority here. You are the priority, but I want to give you a moment to breathe. Please don't go. Human. Human. But you didn't do that initially. And that's your bad. And it's cool. We don't see change unless we're able to be candid. When, I don't know if you're married or you've got a partner or a relationship. When you're talking to your wife, you need to be able to be real and honest. Otherwise things don't change. But black people have denied, even when I left my suitcase back then, I noticed that you kind of look like, so that's what I said to you. No. And I'm not, it's a suitcase. So I did it. I get why you might look like, I didn't even suitcase. But you just, I, I said, no, I'm trying to get them. Just so I can show, just so I can confuse anything that might be, because I know that people have left suitcases for madness. I get that. But again, it's like, I'm always having to defend my blackness. Always. Always. Like, yo, I can't even, if it was an old lady, you might think, oh, hey, why did you leave that there? Okay, cool. Do you want to flip, hang around and watch it while she got a signal? As you did after. But I almost had to come over to you to get that. And I'm not trying to, I'm just teaching you. I had to come over because I noticed that. Because black people notice all these things all the time. And we're constantly positioned to make everyone else feel comfortable. So black people don't get promoted because they're good or because they have the potential. They get promoted because they make other white people feel comfortable. But oh, that's the one that we can hang around with. That's the one that makes us feel comfortable. Then he gets the promotion. Then she gets the promotion. Not because we're allowed to be human. And so we constantly, constantly, I'm constantly looking to see what's popping. I had a whole sea of people gathered around me whilst this guy nearly kneeled on my neck. And that could have been another George Floyd. George Floyd wasn't killed because he woke up that morning thinking, oh, I want to kill a black person today. He was killed because of a situation over a 20 dollar bill, bro. Let's say I had stolen this. Is it worth my life? Is it worth me going to jail today? Just have a chat, like, yo, like, what's going on? I've seen people struggling to pay for food and I've paid it. Because I see them, I see it, and I paid it. Because there's a lot of people that ain't just trying to steal because you wake up thinking we're going to steal. It's people that don't have in this world, bro. And so my biggest challenge has been trying to turn the leaders of some of the biggest businesses in the world into leaders of humanity, not leaders of the bottom line. That's so why I'm telling you that my piece, is, I've got the black conversation, but it's, a, it's, it's global, it's economic, it's just about humanity. And today, Blue Water, and how the phrase of, failed me on many areas of my humanity. Many, and I just mentioned a couple, but there's others that I didn't mention. I said I've been here for months. Come here, my wife's family grew up around here, so I come here. And like the way I've been handled in different shops by the general public, it needs to change. It needs to change. And at this point, I don't think there's anything you can say to make me feel better because I need to just see the change. I've got a project called The Portrait of Black Britain. And for the first time, we're turning the shopping centre into a gallery. It's being done with the Manchester International Festival. You'll see it all over the place. But that's a whole other piece. Like for me, the power of last year was our visibility. There were so many things that people learnt last year after George Floyd was murdered because black people were so visible and we were so together. And then what happened? Then other people, white people and Asian people, became together as well and said, we're not going to have this anymore. And it was like a revelation. I never expected it in my lifetime. And then what happened after? The media came, they put all the microphones to every black person and go, come share your trauma. And every black person went and shared their trauma and nothing changed. And then what did, what did organisations do? Oh, we're going to promote this one black person or we're going to put this black person, this team of people in charge of the black conversation. And nothing changes because it's not just about tokenistic gestures. And so what I'm doing is working with leaders and I'm forsaking, I could be making money doing business with my network but I'm focusing on how we create that change. Yeah. So that's what's going on in the Arndale Centre. It's a whole heap of that. So again, like, 
There's nothing much else you man can say to me. I appreciate now. You do not have to be thankful, but this is even another thing. Fat people are. We're thankful for things that we should be given as a basic common thing. But as a human being to human beings, I appreciate you taking time and listening. But I shouldn't have to be in that position, bro. My little bros, I look, I'm a big man. I might be small in stats, but I'm a big man. I look at the little boys that come through blue water and I see it. And I say, boom, like, if it's them, they're not going to respond how I'm going to respond because they've not had the years, bro. I'm telling you, I was in O2 Arena with the guy's knee like this, and then they dragged me out of O2 Arena. What do you mean? We just confirmed O2 Telefonica as one of our partners from Mark Evans, the CEO. Does that change it? No. But it's a start because if we don't get Mark involved, then the security man is still going to be drag dragging black people down. How's the Asian guy going to come out? That's what I said. Two of the people that was doing the most, one of the Asian guys that grabbed the phone and the other Asian guy that was grabbing me up next to the other white man, they're Asian. This is why there's a difference between BAME, black, Asian and minority ethnic, and black. They're not the same conversation. Because if that was a black man, some black people that understand, that they'd have come at, yo, hold on, how about? Because we see each other as human beings. We, are not, we don't see each other, sometimes. Sometimes we see each other as the threat because the media conditions you to believe that I am the threat. I am most likely to kill myself because of knife crime. But I'll tell you facts. Most of the people, everyone on my phone, I can't point to one person on my phone that carries a knife. I can't. And I know thousands of black people. But that's all you see. So if that's all you see, that's all you're going to have in your mind when you approach a black person. But it's a black man that we see. I would see. If I saw my little bro in that situation and I was a pass the bike, if I'm, I've done it several times in Top Man, in whatever, someone was getting a return, they threatened to call the police because they didn't want to take his item. I gave him the money, I said, hold this brother. I said, take your item. Take your item. It's not worth them calling the police. Security came and said, it's not worth it. I said, bro, I had some cash. I said, how much is it? Boom. That's the return. And then he said, he, he, what he said to me is, thanks bro. He said, I get it. He said, I get it, but it's not about the money, it's the principle. He said, these men need to stop doing it. And so we can't live in a world where it's only black people that fight for black people. I would have loved if the general manager that came down was a black woman. A mother, I said, you know what? I get it. Talk to me, brother. Yeah. But that's yeah, not how you came at me because it's not your experience, and I get it. But hopefully this changes it. So I'm spending an hour now talking to you, man, because I want to see it change. Not because I want you to say, yo, we're so sorry, yo, da 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 da. da. I don't. I, I exist in a world that doesn't need this. I will 100% speak to your leadership. Yeah. But if I wasn't that person, I'm hopeless. I have yeah. to go through this process that doesn't care about me in the first place. The process that they run up, the process that allowed those guys to run up on me and grab me and feel confident. And we have to go because we've got to go to Manchester today. So this whole thing is... I was in a hurry, but, but it, yeah. it's like, I care about this so much. I just gave birth to my first son. My wife gave birth to our first son. I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, in the 21st century, he can never walk around. It doesn't matter who I am, it doesn't matter how many millionaires or whatever I know, or people in good positions. If he walks out as a black man, that's what they're going to see. They see, oh boom, they size me up, okay cool, he's not wearing anything. He doesn't look like a football player, he doesn't look like a rapper. He probably stole this. So if I don't look like a football player, and I don't look like a rapper, I don't exist in the economic system of the UK. But it's black people out there that are millionaires that are not football players. There's black people out there that got their own houses and mortgages and money that are not what players. That look just like me and my wife. But because that's not the norm, you wouldn't go to a normal family of white people and fuck him up like that. It just doesn't work. And then what makes it worse? You radioed the person, did this guy pay for this? Oh, we paid, we paid. Leave, leave that on. We'll get him next time. Why didn't you just, why, before you ran up to me, why didn't you go? Someone's walking away. Can we tell him? Can we get something on him? Can someone confirm if he paid? Oh, okay, cool, you pay. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Totally. Because you could grab me at any point. Totally agree. At any point. Sack him. I'm that manager, the Asian one that came out and grabbed him. Sack him. Because what I'm preaching is zero tolerance. If you continue to let racism thrive and people don't get punished for it, they will continue to do it. When I went to primary school in Essex, one of the primary schools, I was born in South East London, and I went to Essex, and I came back to South East, and the head teacher come through, she said a lot of things to us, but one stood out to me. She said, we can't promise your kids and you guys that you won't get bullied in this school, but we can promise you that we will not tolerate it. So what I don't need from Blue Water is to promise me that you guys aren't racist. 
oh, racism doesn't exist, or House of Frasier, racism, I don't need you to promise me that. I need you to promise me that you're not tolerating. That's all. That's all. And you, this, like, you've ruined my day, there's nothing else that can be done to make my day better. I'm gonna I'm a go home with a heavy heart, because when George Floyd died, I cried. And I'm a big man, and I don't cry. I've had close people die in my life, and I don't cry. But when George Floyd died, I cried. I cried. And today, it's a similar situation, because I see myself, and I see everybody. I don't just see me, it's not me, I see everybody, it's everybody, everybody. And I see how that situation could have turned out. Just on a train, getting into Manchester, Piccadilly now, um, and it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, a day I can't really even describe. I've said everything I need to say and everything I'd want to really communicate about the situation in the video, um, but I thought I'd, I'd do this video to, to, to bring context to what I'm actually doing today, and um, we'll be arriving at Manchester in a couple of minutes, and we'll be doing later on this week we're launching Portrait of Black Britain. Uh, but I think it's, it's, it's very timely, it's, you know, uh, everything I'm, I went through today and all of what I embodied is, is part of the reason for, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing and um, I was meant to have done a release all throughout today and again, like, so all of that has just pushed so much back because we were there for so long, I was educating people, all of what they did, how long they held me for, you know, pushed all of, we nearly missed our trade, you know, so I'll be releasing the, the launch video and some behind scenes stuff uh, tomorrow or later on in the week but you know this 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 is me just letting everyone know that this is why I've been busy this is why I've been offline um, because I've been preparing for launching Portrait of Black Britain at the Manchester International Festival so I'll be contacting the CEO of House of Fraser and the CEO of Blue Water and again the mission and the message is to, to, to have these conversations with those CEOs and with the people that are in positions to really cascade that change from top down and you know um trying to get them involved in what i'm doing at bbn but beyond that like you know so it's sad that this stuff still happens and it's it, it, it's not something that a simple complaint form and going through these different processes can fix we need to now do something that will speak to legacy and do something that will speak to real systemic change and that's what i'm on again um if you're if you're in manchester if you're not you want to come down we'll be launching portrait of black britain on the first will be taking over a shopping centre and turn it into a gallery. I've got to get off the train now, so blessings. <laughs>